And the new stimulus package will flush governments across our state with their share of $40 billion. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains how that money could reach the hands of San Diegans trying to make it amid the pandemic. Joe Paraiso opened La Mesa's Brew Coffee to bring craft coffee to East County. It quickly became more than that. We've had a lot of success with local comedians and musicians, uh, painters. All of those community events on pause due to the outbreak. Sales hover between 40 and 50 percent of pre-pandemic levels. One reason Paraiso spoke publicly last month in favor of the county prioritizing grants to small businesses should a new round of stimulus come in. If it happens, great. Uh, we don't want to get our hopes up, but um, but we we do um, we do like the possibility that we can get more help. And it appears more likely that help is on the way. The proposed stimulus package out of the Senate and onto the House will send $40 billion to state and local governments in California. County Board Chair Nathan Fletcher says, for example, the county would likely use a chunk of the money to aid in vaccine distribution and pandemic response, such as PPE and testing. And then we look and see where are the areas of greatest need in the community that are not covered by other programs uh, and, and where do we think we could be most effective uh, in stepping in to help. Fletcher says in the first round of stimulus, the money went to adapting to the pandemic, such as funding internet connectivity, child welfare visits, and behavioral health. He says now that the region is in recovery, they could focus more on helping to open back up. John Horn, ABC 10 News. Senator Alex Padilla's office expects the county to receive $653 million of stimulus and the city of San Diego to receive $282 million.